Shibe. Oh, Jesus. I want to see your mother know you're here. You have to walk on the back of the church to come here. Whatever. Hey, I'm not done talking to you. You feel so bad. I could be in front of everybody right now. Let's go. Let me go. go. Let me go. Let me go. There's a scar, but I'm still alive. God saved my life. Welcome to TV Carib TV Shopping. Today we have a complete different type of thing for you. Normally in TV shopping, you get some, you hear about a business and you know shopping and that sort of thing. Today we have something special for you. In St. Martin, we have a lot of talent. We have people that do a lot of things. And today I'll be talking to Atalia De Rogers about a film that is coming up. Yes, you heard me correct. A film. Atalia, you got a film coming up. There's not something that you see every day in St. Martin, but a film is coming up. Mother Knows Best. Tell me a little bit about that. Who came up with that idea? Okay, thank you, Fernando, for the opportunity. We're glad mm -hmm. to be here. Mother Knows Best was an idea that was created for a previous production, but I've decided to turn it into a film. Just and like that, you just, just like decide. That. Yes, just like that, and here's where we are today. Okay, and the film will be on the screens in the year 2016. In the year 2015, May, at the Cultural That's Center Baxter. Yes, 2016. 2016, yes. Okay, good. Now, <laughs> um, Mother Knows Best, who came up with the concept? Who wrote the script? Well, the script was written by me, and... You yourself? You write scripts? Indeed, indeed, indeed. Okay. Indeed. So when I want my movie done, I gotta check you too. Please check me. <laughs> okay. Now, um, what is Mother Knows Best all about? Okay, Mother Knows Best is about a mother raising her teenage daughter in this modern time. Mm -hmm. So the struggles that comes with it. So she'd be a tough mother and say no. So she'd be an easy mother and say, okay, yes, go. The struggle is there, and, and the mother has this inner fight. What mm. must I do? Because I want guess. to be a it's good a mother. a single mother. Yes, there's mention of a father, but the focus is on the mother. And you never see this father. No, he's not. This is a real-life movie then. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Things that happen. Okay, yes. now you wrote this, and there, there must be some kind of moral to the story or something like that? Okay, um, yes, there is a moral, and it's from a Bible verse, and mm -hmm. it says that there are times when children suffer, from the mistakes that their parents made. Okay, and, and that's that, what this is. And that's what about. this is all about. Now, this film was filmed here on St. Martin. Everything yes, done in St. Martin. Everything done in St. Martin, all by locals, local actors. Mm -hmm. And these are um, people who acted before. Is this their first time? They're, it's the first for the majority. It's our first time, so okay, it's so totally new. But they did an excellent job. Big up mm -hmm. to the team. And this is your first script that you ever wrote? No, but this is the first one that I'm actually turning it into a film. Film, yes. Okay. Now, how many actors and actresses are in this film? Hmm, let's see. Maybe about 20, maybe a little bit more, because of course I pull in my family and my friends. Okay, you pull them in. Yes. I like how she said that. My cameraman watching me, like, okay, she's pulling <laughs> them in. All right, yeah, good. Now, um, the film, everything took place here on St. Martin. When did you guys start doing this? We started in April of 2015. Of 2015. So, just something kind of recent then? Yes, it is okay. recent. And it will hit the screens by, let's say, May of 2016. May 2016. So That's a year fair. in the making. Yes. You guys were working hard, man. We were working hard, and it was quite an experience, but I think I can speak for everybody. We, we enjoy doing it. So. You enjoyed it. And it's yeah. mostly teenagers, um, yes. all young people yes. and that sort of thing. Yes. So now, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Who plays the role of the mother? Okay. The mother is played by Jessica Rogers. Mm -hmm. That's um, related to you? Yes. Well, let's see if we could get Jessica in here. Okay. And who plays the role of the daughter? T. Shell Day. T. Shell Day. Sounds like she's related to you, too. Yes, she's my okay. daughter. That's your daughter? Yes. Come, T. Shell, you come close to me. Come close to me. <laughs> T. Shell is the daughter, a teenage daughter. Tell me, how do you feel about your role? Um, well, I feel fine about playing Diane. Um, playing Diane was good, actually. I enjoyed myself doing it. You enjoy doing it. Is this your first time acting? Is your first time in on film? Yes. 
But how they convince you to do that then? Because it was natural. It was natural. It was natural. Y'all, y'all are related. Yeah. Yes. We're cousins. Y'all are cousins. That's correct. I see a little similarity in the lipstick you here. Sure? <laughs> <laughs> now, um, you have to play this daughter, and and is it something you could relate to? Is it something you already do? Are you already a mischievous? child or is it something you really have to get into and practice to do? Sometimes I'm mischievous, not all the time. Not all most, the time. Most of the parts, like, I really had to get down on it mm. to do it. And the directors get down on you and say, you're not doing this right, you're not being mischievous enough, yes. you, you got to get into it. Yes. And mom, how did you handle this? Because you're not a mother as yet, right? No, 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 I am a mother. Uh, for, unfortunately for me, I became a mother at 16, mm -hmm. so it was an easier role for me to actually then play a part. However, the role that it actually was was a bit different because I, my daughter is only seven. She's mm -hmm. not she's not a full blown teenager where I say no 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 no. But mm -hmm. it's a different circumstance, and it was good getting into something like that beforehand. Yeah. But you all could relate to the role that you're playing. When I say relate to, it's nothing like strange to you. Something you you know about. Yes. Yeah, because you see it in everyday life, right? So just like um, my aunt said earlier, it's more of a regular situation where you see a single, well, not a single mother, but a mother who's at home with her child often, and you have to go through the struggle of, okay, say no, say yes, when to do it, when not to do it, because you don't want her to go to school and say, oh, well, my mother say no, she's the bad one. But at sometimes when you actually do say yes, that's when you hope and it turn wrong and bite you because it's not what you expect it to happen. Now, what are your hopes for this this film when it comes out people come and see it and they leave after at the end of it what you want people to leave saying well that was a good movie and they're going to come back and see more of her productions that she have in store but more of understanding the whole morale and that certain things do happen when parents actually say no they have a reason why they say no and that's every time when you think it's the best way for them to say yes because you feel that everything is going to be a all right and okay that sometimes the inner instinct is a good thing to actually follow rather than just saying going with the flow you look like you you got an experience of a mother already <laughs> huh? no as a teenage girl, you must have a best friend who always influencing you and telling you what to do and what not to do. So mom, I want to hear from her teenage friend. So let me see if I could bring in the teenage friend. This is your best friend here, right? Yes. Okay. And what's your real name? Fabrielle Richardson. Okay. And in the film you are? Shelly. Shelly. You're her best friend? Yes. Okay. Now what role does the best friend play in this film? In the film, I play Diane's best friend, which she has a struggle between her best friend and Nicole, because Nicole doesn't like Who's Diane. Nicole? Nicole is the bully. Nicole is a bully? Yes. Okay. And the bully trying to influence her to do certain things, but the best friend giving her good advice? Uh, not really like that. The bully like doesn't want Shelly to hang around Diane, so she's trying to push them away from each other. Why would she want to do that? She doesn't like um, Diane. Ah, the bully doesn't like Diane. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Now, dealing with this kind of thing, even in the film, if it was real life, how would you have dealt with a problem like that? I would uh, be straight up and tell her that she need to stop what she's doing and like that. And cool out? Yeah. yeah like the young people would say, chill out. Chill out. Okay. But in the film, um, how did you handle it in the film? In the film, we actually fighted. We had fight, fought. Mm -hmm. you, you and the bully fought? Yes. Who win? We don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Now, um, where did that scene take place, the on, fighting scene? On the beach. On the beach in, in town? Yes. So people were there watching you all while you all were filming this? Yes. And you had to do it over and over. Well, she didn't fall hard enough, throw down harder, that kind of thing? Yes. Take one, take two. A lot of takes. <laughs> a lot of takes. But you enjoy it though? Yes. Okay. Now, I am anxious to see this bully because your best friend looks like somebody who um, plays the role of giving good advice, but yet there's a bully in between. Let me see if I could meet this bully and see who it is bully. No, 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 bully. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. You have a tough role to play because you don't look like a bully to me. <laughs> now, how in the movie or in the film you make yourself be a bully? How you do that? I just start being mean to her and saying mean things about her. 
Are you are you like that in real life? No. no. So you have to practice this then? Yes. Okay. But show me how you bully because you look too nice to be a bully. Show, show me a little bullying. Show me a little a part and come come in, come in so you she could show me a little part that you do where you, you bully in her. How how that goes. Even it's just one line. Bully her a little bit, let me see. Now that I look bullying to me at all. That I, if you're bullying me like that, I, I, I could take that every day. Now, um, what is your purpose in the film um, to keep her and her best friend separated? Why, why is that? I'm just jealous of their friendship. You're jealous of their friend. You want her for yourself. Mm -hmm. And did that work? No. The bullying didn't work? No. What prevented it from working? They're just close friends. Their friendship was too tight for you to get in between there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you, you ever did any actual bullying in your life? No. No. So this was all new to you? Yes. How they managed to get you to do it then? Just keep practicing my scripts. Mm. And, uh, that. and learn your lines and, and the action and all of that. Mm -hmm. So you had a hard time doing that? Yes. I mean, look at this young lady. Look, look who they chose for a bully. I mean, anybody see this young lady walking down the road would never believe this is a bully. Um, but if you if you manage to bring that across in the film, um, I think you did a tremendous job. So now, who else we have in 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 there? You have other friends in there? Yes. Who, who are they? Naima Hart. Serena Cumberbatch, Kerr, Jean Saunders, Lenny Shacox, Chinazam Njengiri, Sean Mitchell. And what do these friends do for you? They were just there helping me to when she was bullying me. Okay, so they knew that she was bullying you? Yes. And, and they help you in all of this? Yes. Okay. Now let me see if I could talk to some of the friends and their roles. But bully you, you, you got a tough task because, um, yeah. Who we have here now? Let me see. What's your name? Sean Mitchell. You're the Sean Mitchell? Okay, Sean Mitchell. What role are you playing in the in the film? Sean Mitchell. <laughs> Sean Mitchell. Okay. What's your real name then? Sean Mitchell. And what role are you playing in the film? Sean Mitchell. So they can't mix you up at all. <laughs> hey, that's the easiest one I've ever seen. They gave a, an actor to play himself. Now, what are you doing in the play? I was just like in the background, like watching them fight and like stuff like that. And you didn't stop them when they were fighting? No. So in real life, if you see two girls fighting, you wouldn't stop them? Maybe. Depends how bad. Depends on how bad. Okay. Sean Mitchell, he's just in the background. Let me see what else I have here. Go over there, Sean. Let me bring it. Who do I have here? What's your name? Kurjan Saunders. Kurjan Saunders. Now let me guess. What role are you playing in the film? Kurjan Saunders. Yeah. Okay, so this is like Jim West as Jim West. Okay, what what's your role in the play? Um, I help when Tisha gets um stuck in the water, I go for. She got stuck in the water. Like, she was in a. A pool. A, a floaty thing. And you went in and got her. Yeah, when the shark had come to bite her. So you you had to actually play that part, jump in the water and get her out. Yeah. And you all did it in one take. No. How many takes? A lot. A lot. So who was making the mistakes? Me. <laughs> She's an honest mistake maker, boy. <laughs> Let me see. I have Naima Hodge, right? Naima? Naima, you, what what you play? Come closer to me, man. Naima, you're a movie star now. I, I want to be with these movie stars. Naima, you're um, a friend. Um, yes. What role are you playing? Listening to Diane and Shelley talk about a bathing suit. They talk about a bathing suit? Yes. How long the conversation went on? Not Five. very long. Five minutes, okay. Now, um, what role are you playing? What's your character in, in the film? Naima Hodge. Naima Hodge, okay. So you all kept your, you know, St. Martin always set trends, you know. Now here we have movie stars playing themselves. Um, and you just, you, you don't have much acting to do, you just play yourself, right? Yes. Okay. The next film I'm going to star in, I want to be Fernando Clark too. You know, I want them to give me no name. So let me see, another friend here. And your name is? Serena Cumberbatch. Serena Cumberbatch. And let me guess, you're playing Serena Cumberbatch in the film, right? Yes. Okay, so they actually call you Serena in the film? 
Yes. Okay. And what do you do in this film? I was just watching them fight and this this fight seemed to have been like a the highlight of the film. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. And you just watched them fight? Yes. And you didn't do anything? Yes. No, I didn't do anything. You didn't do anything. So your part was not a part where I had to cut and say, do it over again. Uh, not really. And I was at the library talking about... You don't remember what you were talking about? Not really. Not really. Okay. Well, you got to come and see the film to know exactly what she was talking about. Another friend. Let me see another friend here. And you are... Leonisha Cox. Le Leonisha? Cox. Leonisha. Okay, some of these names, huh? Um, and you're playing Leonisha Cox too? Yes. Okay. You see, you all, you all can't mix up your names when you're in the play, huh? I think that's why the director did it, did it that way. Um, what part you playing? I played when we had to go to the library and talk about the beach party and watch the fight. There was a beach party? Yes. Okay. Now, let me see here. Um, the best friend, mother knew about this beach party? I think so. You think so? Okay. Now let me ask you, how you enjoy doing this film? I enjoyed myself a lot. I had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see the film too? Yes. And when your part comes up, you're going to say, that's me, that's me, the one? No. You're not going to do that? No. You ain't going to show your friends, well, look at me there on, on the screen? No, they'll figure it out themselves. They'll figure it out. Let's hope so. And I hope people who watch the film and say, but wait a minute, Miss Cox, I didn't see you. And all the time you were there. Maybe in the background. <laughs> in the background. Okay. But all the other friends, I talked to everybody here already? No, no, not you? Okay. Now, this should have been the bully. He looked like a bully. Look how you come. Hey, you ain't talked to me yet, you know. I mean. <laughs> What's your name? Chinazo Ijingiri. What? Chinazo Ijingiri. Okay, I can just call you Chinalo. Something like that, right? And in the play, you play that, that part too? Yeah. You didn't have a hard time calling your name in the play? Kinda. Kinda, okay. And what did you do in the play? I was the friend watching the fight and the beach party. So all the these friends just, just watched the fight, that's all they did? Yeah, and yeah. But what kind of friend would you be if you just watching your friend fighting and getting beat up? Oh, well, I would be a bad friend. I would want to help them, but the fight was... Too good. As, yeah. It was so good to stop. Yeah. All right. Wow. You all are so honest. <laughs> now, um, this is your first film, right? Yes, this is my first film. You ever thought about doing this before? No. I only thought when I got bigger, maybe I'll be in a film. Mm. But I got to do it right now. How old are you now? I'm 12, making 13. I January. could count you. I could count. If you're 12, you have to be making 13. You know, so, so don't, don't come play that thing on me. About 12 making 13. Yeah, I, I could count. Now, um, you ever did any kind of play or anything like that in, in let's say, Sunday school or yeah. in school, anything like that? Yes, I did. So there was some kind of acting in you all before? Yes. Okay, but now it's on film. You're going to be famous. You're going to Hollywood. You know that, right? Yeah, I know that. Okay, when you get big and rich and famous, you'll remember me, right? Of course, I remember you. <laughs> okay, now I know um, I didn't get all the, the actors' name in terms of their characters, but I know the young lady who playing the daughter. Um, in these kind of cases, I know they have somebody advising them, somebody counseling them, and I'm sure there was a counselor involved. So. Hey, I want to wish you all all the best. You all don't break a leg. And um, when you all reach Hollywood, remember me, okay? Yes. Okay. Thank all you. of you. Okay, not just you. Now, there's a counselor involved, and she has to talk to the daughter, and she knows what the problems are with the daughter. You come closer to me, counselor. You are, going, you are the counselor in this film, right? Yes, sir. Okay, what's your name? My name is Barbara Cox Ejingiri. Barbara Cox Ichingiri. Ichingiri, yes. Ichingiri, okay. Yes. Could I call you Barbara? Sure. Okay. Um, and that's a, the character you're playing in the... Um, no, I'm playing a counselor. A counselor with a name? School counselor, no. Did they give you a name in the film? Counselor. Counselor, played right. by Barbara, okay. Yes. School counselor. Now, are you really a counselor in real life? Yes. You are? Yes. Okay, so you didn't have to do too much acting and that kind of thing? Not at all. You were into it already? Yes. Now, the problem that the young lady is having, is it a problem that you see regularly in, in counseling? 
Yes, of course, it ha occurs. But what I um, extremely liked about this is that the parent came with um, the mom. Most of the time, it's the victim. Mm -hmm. But now it was the perpetrator. Ah, the perpetrator yes. that came. Right. The mom brought. The mom brought right. the daughter to you. Yes. How do you handle that? Or let, let me say, how did you handle that in the film? Well, in the film, you don't really see. You just see when the child comes in, uh, make the appointment, and then behind closed doors, I do my stuff. But in real life, then we will hear the situation and we will have different sessions with the student and the parent. Now, let me ask you this question. Um, is this your first time on film? No. no. You've done this before? Yes. Where and when and what? I've done films with my church. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so your church does film. So this is an experienced actress here. Well, I would say a bit. A bit. Now, the, the role of the film, the whole film, how do you see it um, that it would fit for the St. Martin public? Well, it will fit in the sense that it's something that is occurring, is common. Mm -hmm. um, the mom explained her part and with the students how these uh, bullying play out. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very relevant in today's time and how you handle it. Because mm -hmm. as I mentioned before, a lot of time we don't want to deal with the perpetrator. We are so concerned with the victim. And um, prevention programs and exposing this is quite important mm -hmm. for the teen teenagers to know that you don't hurt people. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's so that would be like a message going out to those who are watching the film? It's definitely a message. Mm -hmm. I think in everything, for my life, in everything, you have to pick out. There's something that you can learn. Okay. And that's a positive thing. So those who come in to see it will know, well, that there's a serious message involved. Yes, there are. Yeah, there is a message. And you can identify with the different characters. So from each character, you will be able to pick something that, you know, relates to you. Okay. Now, before I go, I have to thank you, Don, and I hope that when you get into Hollywood that you'll remember me, huh? <laughs> a little autograph or something. Okay. I see Lavon Henry there, and I want to talk to Lavon and Anal, um, um, uh, Miss Rogers again. So thank you, and remember me when you get to Hollywood, huh? And tell Arnold Schwarzenegger and them boys hello for me. No problem. <laughs> How are you doing, Lavon? I'm good. I played the mom. You're the mom? Yes, the Nicole's mom, the bully's mom. Oh, you're the bully's mom. Yes, so actually. you're a grand bully. Yes, apparently. But how the mom gets involved in this, well, the bully's um, mom? I got a call from another parent saying that um, I have to be careful. My daughter has been was in um, bullying activities um, with some other friends and that I should be alerted. And which she did, and um, I confronted that. At that time, my daughter was with me, and I confronted her and I asked her, "I mean, are you bullying? Are you? Are you? Were you? Are you not talking to your friends, or what's going on?" And and of course, as a parent, you you're concerned and you want to to fix the problem. And um, and I was quite happy that the other parent told me about it. So. I, the first thing I did was, you know what, this is out of my hands, this is above my pay grade. I cannot counsel this child, this child needs help. And as a parent, I contacted a counselor and um, made an appointment and uh, took my daughter to get help because I know I couldn't do that, that job. Okay. And, and for her to speak to someone to figure out what's going on and if it's something that I as a parent need to fix about me too. Yeah. You never now, know. Um, as an actress, um, was this difficult for you? No, 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 no. It was quite easy, and um, and it's 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 something that most parents go through. A lot of parents go through mm -hmm. with kids, and it was really good. And I'm so happy that Miss um, Atalia De Rogers was able to bring this forward in our society, in our present society, so that the children and the teenagers and themselves can see that this exists. They're not just looking at a lifetime movie. It's no, right here. A lifetime. <laughs> um, when they say mother knows best when yeah. people watch the film which mother would they say was the mother that knew best let Atalia come and tell us well that Atalia has to come <laughs> and tell us that because she wrote us. it you know exactly um, this is not your first time on film though, right um I don't think it's my first time I've done a uh, lot of um, I, like I don't think <laughs> <laughs> Atalia let's see if you could minute, get yes. <laughs> but you're on TV and then you do your thing stuff. Yeah. yes yes so, so it you, was quite um it was straightforward you know okay. it's just part of our Atalia come in our society Atalia was just asking Asking Lavon here, mm -hmm. Lavon, what what what's your character name? Um, mommy, I'm a mommy. Just mommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I like that. You, no you know, you really make this thing <laughs> Saint Martin self. I'm a mommy. When they say mother knows best, which mother 
what people, what the viewers think, was the mother that knew, knows best, or do all mothers, is it a general thing? I think it's a general thing because, as I always say, there's no book that comes with parenting. Mm. And as a mother, you will, as a parent, and as a mother, you are going to mm. try to do what's good for your child mm. and, and listen to that gut feeling. Okay. Now, tell the people of St. Martin when this film will be available, more or less, because we don't have an exact date. When, where, and how? Okay, we are, we are pushing to get it done for May 2016 at the Cultural Center, Backstreet. Would be the premiere of it? Yes. And then after that, it would probably be in the movies and on TV and so on. We will be honored if a movie would put us there. Well, we asked Mr. Clark <laughs> to get us that support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We we willing, we're willing to have it here on TV Carib, yes. but also um, that, you know, the movies, you know, if it was be um, shown on the screens in the movies, it's a St. Martin thing. I think that would be very good if we could go and pay to see the St. Martin actors and actresses. Yes. I agree. And this is not your last, right? I, no. I understand. No. Um, Lavon told me backstage that you have something else coming up. Yes. And she I says she hopes she's in that too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're all in it. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's Mother Knows Best too. Yes, in the future. In the future. Okay. All right. So we're looking at May that this will be on the screen. We, we, we're starting at the Cultural Center. Yes. Um, probably early May 2016. Yes. And we want every St. Martin. Now, this is a film that everybody could come and watch. It's not yes. rated. It's not 18 years up. Every child, yes. every grown-up, every yes. everybody could come and see this. Yes. It's an all-ages film. Yeah. All ages. Yes. There's nothing in there that no. children can't be exposed to. No. Okay, so that means That's I could come too. Sure, <laughs> please come. <laughs> <laughs> well, I definitely will be there. You know, I want to congratulate you. You did a tremendous job. Thank I didn't even much. know behind the scenes. Now, th now that we have the whole crew there, I'm going to ask everyone, give them a round of applause. Woo! Okay, and come in, come in, the whole crew. Let's get the whole crew here. And these are all the actors and actresses. This is everybody here? No, there's a few more, but the others couldn't make it today. They couldn't make it, okay. Yes. But, um, make it today, but I want to personally, on behalf of TV Carib, um, mm -hmm. WTN Cable, mm -hmm. wish you um, all the success in the world. Um, you know, come up here so we could see everybody. Naima, you kind of small, you know, you shouldn't be in the back. <laughs> come in front, okay? Right yeah, 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 don't hide, go right here. And I want to wish you all, all the best. And actors, you all have done your part already. Yes, we're just waiting on the, uh, the editing, right? Yes, we're waiting on the editing, and I'm hoping that it will be completed soon. Okay. And the Cultural Center, sometime early in May, people may sure come out and support this. And you all actors and actresses, make sure you bring out all your family. Tell all of them, come and see Mother Knows Best in May 2016, you don't want to miss this. A St. Martin film done by St. Martin actors, um, St. Martin director, St. Martin writer, and this is going to be a great one. So, again, congratulations, and let's say it together, Mother Knows Best. Mother Knows Best. Okay, thank you for tuning in to TV Carib TV Shopping. I'm still alive. God saved my life.